With spring here and the weather getting warmer, maybe not this warm, parents have still been hot to ask me when to worry about their child having a fever. Well, let me try to cool down everyone's concerns and help separate the facts from the fiction in regard to children and fevers. One question I often get asked is, is fever bad for a child? Well, fever is the body's way to better fight off infection and rev up the body's immune system. So fevers are actually good for children. Another common concern is that fevers over 104 are dangerous and could cause brain damage. Well, actually, fevers have to go over 108 to cause brain damage, and that situation is very, very rare and only occurs with extreme environmental temperatures. Fevers due to infections never climb high enough to cause brain injury on the basis of the heat generated. Parents also worry that the exact number on a thermometer is a problem. Actually, the number is only of interest in babies under a month of age when we do want to know about that temperature being above 100.4. Over that age, if your child is immunized, it's not the number, but what your child looks like that's important in terms of their overall wellness. As to treatment, adequate hydration and not overdressing your child or covering your child with blankets to trap heat, well, those are the first steps. Be aware that acetaminophen or ibuprofen should only be used to treat the discomfort of the fever and are not an automatic since, as I just mentioned, fever helps rid your child's body of that infection. The bottom line, if you're concerned about your child with or without a high fever, and especially in terms of their breathing, their hydration status, or their level of alertness, please talk to your child's health care professional. Hopefully, tips like this will burn brightly in your minds so you can stay calm, cool, and collected the next time your young child has a fever. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.